the first activation series we're going to do today is to get your hips and uh, glutes active for your workouts. You're going to take a blue mini band, you'll step through it and put it up around just to the top of your kneecap. And then you're going to take a green band and that green band so you go around your ankles. So the goal here with this exercise is to keep your posture really straight. I don't want to see any leaning or movement in the trunk. So what Zach's going to do is with straight legs, he's going to start sidestepping towards me, always keeping tension on the band. So you're never going to fully step together. So as he steps here, he's thinking of pushing off his left head, left hip, going towards the right. After you do about 10 yards or so that way, then you'll get back the opposite direction. Same thing, a knee stay nice and straight. After you do straight legs, you're going to go into a bent knee. So then he's going to sit back into a little mini squat, keeping his weight over the middle of his feet. He's going to basically think of sidestepping towards me like he's marching. So I don't want to see knees caving in, just like you don't want to when you squat. Again, about 10 yards to the right, and then he'll go back 10 yards to the left. Remember, you do this before all of your workouts. This activation sequence is to warm up for all of your squats. So Zach has a band up around his knee, and he also has a band around his feet. The reason that we're putting a band around your feet is because it really makes you work on activating the arches of your feet, which are extremely important as your squats get lower and lower that you uh, get all those muscles active. So first, he's gonna do just a slow squat. Squatting down, using the blue band to track his knees over his toes. He's not trying to push out extremely wide and try to break that band, but just to get that alignment of the hips, knees, and ankles. After you do a couple here, what we're gonna go to do is we're gonna add some speed to it. So think about this for your squat cleans and snatches. So he's gonna drop and try to get his hips down as quick as possible, keeping that alignment. So for both of these, all you need to do is about 10 reps. After you do that, we're gonna add an overhead squat position. Take a yellow band, which is the lightest, it's gonna go around his forearms. First, we're gonna start slow, just like we did with the squats. He's gonna pull out on that band, getting his shoulder blades active, slowly going up and down. If you feel like you can't control uh, the overhead squat and that your chest wants to come forward, you wanna pause and sort of work on using that overhead position, pulling on that band to get deeper. After you do about 10 there, now we're gonna add a drop squat in the overhead position. So quickly, he's, his arms are gonna go overhead as his hips go under. Again, trying to add some speed here, focusing on your mechanics, 10 reps. This activation technique is for your uh, shoulders and your shoulder blades, especially to get ready for any uh, type of front rack and clean position. You're gonna lie on your back, bend your knees so that your feet are flat, the band goes around your forearms, and then you bring your arms up straight overhead. The biggest thing in this exercise, what we're working on, is that you're gonna do this uh, activation technique not letting your back arch away from the ground. Rotate your hands backwards and bend at the elbows to a 90 degree position. The goal here as Zach moves his arms overhead is that his arms, elbows, and hands stay in one line. He's not gonna arc his back here, so he's bearing down, as I call it, through um, his trunk, which is activating his obliques. He's gonna hold that position just for about three seconds and then come back down. This is a really hard activation technique, so you are allowed to rest between each um, repetition. And also, when you go overhead, just go overhead stack. If your arms flip over and your palms have to go to the ceiling because you don't have the strength or um, mobility, that's fine, just don't ever let the back arch, okay? Hold for three seconds at the top of each one. You only need to do about six of these before your workouts. This activation exercise is called Spider-Man Walks. All you need is a wall and a mini band. <clears throat> Zach's gonna put the mini band around his forearms. You're gonna stand facing the wall, feet just shoulder distance apart. Your hands are gonna be flat on the wall. Just start at about shoulder height here. Your wrists can bend. First thing what you want to do is you need to activate your glutes and draw your abdominals in. As we go through this exercise, I don't want to see any movement happening through your trunk. He's thinking of gripping the wall, that's what we call it Spider-Man walks, thinking that you have to grip so um, hard into the wall that you're going to actually crawl or pull yourself up the wall. So just a couple inches at a time, he's going to start moving his hands up. You're going to go all the way up in this position. His hands are wider than his shoulders. So at the top, as I'm looking at him here, he's starting to make basically like a V formation. At the top, when the elbows are completely straight, 
He's going to push hard into the wall on the left side and then exhale and lift the right arm off. Then he pushes his right arm into the wall, exhales and pulls his left arm out. He's going to do that one more time on each side. As you can see here, there's no movement happening through the pelvis or the low back. After he does this last one, he's going to walk himself down the wall, just the same way you came up, and you're going to do about six of these before your workouts. All right, we're going to do a bridging sequence here to warm up your hips um, and glutes for your workouts. Take a green band, which is a medium resistance band, put it through both feet, and that's going to go up at the top of the kneecap. The next band is going to be the lighter one. That's going to go around your shoes, actually, so it's right on um, top of your shoelaces. You're going to lie on your back. What we're going to do here is first get your feet in a position so that we can start activating the arches of your feet. So you widen your feet out as wide as you can, keeping your toes forward so they can go past your hips. Your feet need to be in a position that when you push down, so that's going to push down into the ground to get his feet active, okay? that he can push through the middle of your foot. I don't want you to dig into your heels and have the toes lift up. Next, you push out on your knees to activate the glutes. Then he's gonna tuck his pelvis under, pull his abdominals in and bridge up into the air and hold there for 10 full seconds, focusing on the uh, strength in the arches and the glutes. If you look at him from the side here, you're gonna see his back is not arched. You almost wanna think about kicks, uh, creating a hollow body position through your trunk. After 10 seconds, he'll lower back down. You'll relax your knees and take a break between each rep and you'll do six of those.